Okay, in the day five notes, we're going to be solving exponential equations. You've seen a little bit of this when we've been uh, evaluating logs. So some of this should be familiar. Some of it is going to be a little bit newer. Here is the big idea for today. If we have two exponential uh, expressions set equal to each other, if the bases are the same, then the exponents have to be the same. But what's important is that those bases have to be the same. So in example 1a, 2 to the x plus 1 equals 32. I cannot set the exponents equal because the bases are not the same. So at this point, I have to get the bases the same. We have to consider both sides. So we're going to ask ourselves, can we rewrite 2? No, 2 is just 2. So the left side stays 2 to the x plus 1. Then the question, though, is can we rewrite 32? Yes. You might know off the top of your head that 32 is 2 to the 5th. If you don't, break it down. So 32 is 8 times 4. 4 is 2 times 2. And I get another 4 times 2 and 2, 2. So then we see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2s. Now that the bases are the same, I can set the exponents equal. So we end up with x equals 4. Sometimes things are going to get a little bit trickier, like they are in b. b is trickier because we can rewrite both sides. How can we rewrite 9? Three, three Close. Three squared. Three squared. So 9 is going to be 3 squared to the power x minus 3. 27 is 3 to the third. And then if we remember, on the left side, when you have a power to another power, they get multiplied. So I'm going to distribute that 2. So on the left side, this will give me 3 to the power 2x subtract 6. And on the right side, I have 3 to the third. Now that the bases are the same, I can set the exponents equal. So I get 2x minus 6 is equal to 3. If I move the 6 over, I get 2x equals 9. So x is equal to 9 over 2. <clears throat> Questions for me? I have a quick question for you real quick then. Let's say instead of, well, I'm just going to give us a different number. What if I had 1 eighth to the power x minus 1? How can I rewrite 1 eighth? Mm -hmm. 1 eighth is what number to what power? Uh, yes, broken down more than that. 2 to the negative 3rd. Yes, yeah, so this would be 2 to the negative 3, and then we would have that x minus 1. So you might end up having that in your homework. Okay, that's the first type of problem that you're going to see. Questions for me before we keep going? Okay. Example 2, solve each exponential equation and give exact solutions. Okay, so again, this looks very similar to the other problems we've done. We're going to ask ourselves, can we rewrite either side and or both? Can we rewrite 4? Yes. 2 squared. So that 4, we're going to get 2 squared to the x. And 25, we can write as 5 squared. What issue do we run into here? Bases are not the same. Is there any way for us to get the bases to be the same here? Is there any way we can rewrite 4 in terms of 5 to some power? Or 25 as 2 to some power? No. Okay. So then here's the idea. Any time that you have different bases, write this down, please. You need a different approach. What your approach is going to be is we are going to introduce logs. 
So anytime that your bases are not the same, you're going to have to use logs. What you're going to do is you're going to take the log of both sides. So I'm going to take the log on the left side and the log on the right side. So that's going to be log of 4 to the x equals log of 25. Now, initially, we might be saying, why would I bother to do that? That's not helpful. But that x is a power. What can we do with powers? Bring it out in front. Power can be brought out in front. So we get x log of 4 is equal to log of 25. So now I can divide by log of 4. So my x ends up being log of 25 divided by log of 4. Listen up. You cannot cancel out the logs. So what some people want to do is they want to cross out the logs and say my answer is 25 over 4. No, that's not true. This is your final answer. That's your final answer. Charlotte? Um, why couldn't you do like, oh, like log four? I think I know what you're saying. Here's the other option. I think this is what Charlotte is getting at. If we start with that equation, we remember this is in exponential form. What we could do is we could try switching it to log form. So our base in this case would be 4. Our argument would be 25, and our exponent is x. That is exactly the same as the answer we got. So you certainly could do it that way. It's just expressed differently. If you recognize, do it that way. So like, you could do, either Anything else? Any questions before we look at the last two together? Okay. B on the next side. We have 3 to the x is equal to 2 to the power of 3 minus x. Can we rewrite 3 or 2? Can either of them be rewritten? No. no. Okay, so if we can't get the bases the same, which we can't in this case, we're going to have to take the log of both sides. So we get log of 3 to the x is equal to log of 2 to the 3 minus x. As we did in the problem right before this, the whole reason to do that is so that you can bring the power out in front. So on the left side, it's going to be x log of 3. On the right side, we need to be careful here. We're going to need parentheses. We have 3 minus x log of 2. Okay. On the left side, x log of 3 is a number. So this is some number times x. Over here, log of 2 is some number times 3 minus x. So we have to keep in mind, what are we trying to do? Our goal is to get x alone. So on the left side, we might be tempted to divide by log of 3. The problem with that is that while we would get that left x alone, there's still an x on the right side. So dividing by <coughs> log of 3 is not going to be helpful. Ultimately, we need to get x on one side, everything else on the other. So what we're going to do on that right side is we're actually going to distribute that log of 2. So left side stays the same, x log of 3. The right side, we have 3 log of 2 minus x log of 2. So everything we do, we have to keep in mind, our whole objective is to get x alone. Suggestions at this point, if we're trying to get our x's together slash alone? Add x log 2 to the other side. Add x log 2 to the other side. So we have x log 3, add x log 2, 
is equal to 3 log of 2. Now, how is that helpful? Why did Charlotte want us to add x log 2 to the left side? So we can take an x out. So we can factor out an x. Or factor out an x, which leaves us with log of 3, add log of 2. And then we have 3 log of 2 on the right side. So last, we can divide by log of 3 plus log of 2. So our answer ends up being 3 log of 2 over log of 3 plus log of 2. What is the base of those logs? I didn't write a base, so the base is understood to be 10. This is your answer then. Not the only way to express the answer. Anybody know how that denominator would simplify? Audrey, would it be log 6? Yeah. We're adding, we can multiply the arguments. So that would be log of 6. Anybody know how the Numerator could simplify. Log of 8. Yeah, this becomes a power on the 2. Now, I don't care that you simplify. If you get to this answer that I have boxed, I'm very happy. If you do want to simplify, these are the same as what we started with, or the answer we got to. Questions for me before we do the last one? Okay, last one together is C. Again, we're solving for x. We might be tempted to multiply that 3 in, to distribute the 3 to the left side. Let's not make our lives more complicated. What can we do instead? Divide by 3. Yeah, divide by 3. Don't multiply it in. Divide by 3. This is going to make our lives a lot easier. So then we end up with 4, subtract 2 to the negative x plus 1, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So I'm going to subtract my 4, so I get negative 2 to the negative x plus 1, and 3 subtract 4 is negative 1. Okay. It might be nice for us to get rid of those negatives. So to get rid of the negatives, we divide by a negative. So we get 2 to the power negative x plus 1 is equal to 1. Okay. 2 we cannot rewrite. 1 we cannot rewrite. We're going to need to take the log of both sides. We kind of have two options here. That's the first option, and I'm going to show you the other option once we are done with this. So if we take the log of both sides, then that power can come out in front. So we get negative x plus 1 times log of 2 is equal to log of 1. Again, the whole objective... Okay, whole objective is for us to solve for x. Is it going to help us to distribute in the log of 2 here? No, it's not going to help us. We don't need the log of 2. There's only one x. So just divide by log of 2. When we do that, we get negative x plus 1 is equal to log of 1 over log of 2. Then I'm going to subtract that 1, so I get negative x is equal to log of 1 over log of 2 minus 1. Lastly, if we divide by the negative. Okay, that means this first quantity that is currently positive has to become negative. So that's going to become negative log of 1 over log of 2. That negative 1 at the end then becomes a positive 1. So 
So there is our answer. Okay. I told you there was one other way to do this specific problem. And I want us to write this down real quick because if you would have recognized this or if we would recognize this, it's going to be a lot quicker. If we start here again. This says or. I know my handwriting doesn't look that great. Or if we start again. Two to what power is going to give us one? Zero. Zero. Two to the zero power will give us one, which means that power has to be zero. So then we end up with x equals 1, which is exactly the same as that. But aren't they not the same base? They're not the same base, but we can figure out what this power is. So this is a special, special oh. exception because we know the only way we're going to get 1 is if the power is 0. Got it. Okay, so you should be asking yourselves, why is this equal to this answer in blue? Here's why. Log of 1 is 0. This log of 1 is 0, which means this whole term is 0. So we just get 1 again. Now, that is going to happen very rarely. So don't hang your hat on seeing that a bunch of times.